Welcome back to my life with plants. I'm Newman. Let's have a look at my orchids after that heat yesterday. This is Dendrobium monoliforme, which is native to Japan, which is here where I live. This one's doing pretty well. It's doing fantastic actually. It's got all these new growths. It's a nice established plant. And it's like a one that's not doing so well. <clears throat> Move that sticky trap there. Yeah, this one got a hard time last year. It's got a keiki coming away, but it's I'd end up moving this to a mount. But, uh, look at don't like being disturbed. <clears throat> Just gonna hang this rag up. All right, Dendrobium yuki deruma. This lovely new growth. I thought it was doomed because it. Uh, it had all these bear canes and it had the rots. It was a division and put into a pot last year during the monsoon and then gifted to me, but uh, that was a bit too late to do a division. Caused rot. But after a long rest and some trimming and that, and a dry winter almost. It was 100% bone dry, I didn't water it at all for all the three months of winter, three or four months and then it's started off this new growth here and I'm going to get it nice and big and healthy so I can have beautiful flowers so this dendrobium has large white flowers with a very dark center so I get dark purple, almost black so it's fantastic this one's got kikis popping up everywhere is a dendrobium nobili um, that has beautiful mango colored flowers, mango and yellow. Yep, it's got one growth down there that I want to grow bigger so I can grow into the medium, but it's got a bunch of kikis. We need more growth at the bottom of it to sustain the plant. So it keeps growing. Up here we have near Phoenicia falcatus. This one's got a lovely root system. It's just a white flowering one. Comes with its own bunch of fungus gnats which come because it's so moist now. Got all these nice roots coming away, new growth. Hopefully, some of these little <laughs> growths here are, are uh, flower spikes. Should be coming into flower spike. This one. This one's a yellow flowering. Variety. It has two new growths coming away. You see one there and one over here. It aborted a couple last year, but hey, what's new? Probably did it to save itself. Well, once these roots grow and get stronger. This plant will be well established in the pot, and by then I won't want to move it at all. Absolutely not. No fiddling with that. I don't like moving the orchids around too much because 
lo and behold, I'm going to break something, which is really annoying. Okay, this one's got some nice roots coming away on it. You can see that the moss is built up high like that, and why do they do it in Japan? They do it because it's to cause runoff or drainage. So the root ball can stay nice and moist, but it's almost got 100% aeration. It's kind of the closest thing you can do to growing it on a tree. And of course the sphagnum moss keeps some moisture, but at the same time it drains away and the plant can breathe. And they always have a nice big hole on the bottom there to let the oxygen in. So that's the why they do it. These vendors do not like to be potted. So what you're doing is you're trying to make it natural, but enough that you can um, hold some moisture. Okay, let's have some look at some better looking plants. All right, this is a dendrobium um, hybrid between monoliforme, so I tested it last winter. Perfect, no problem. It's a little bit larger, it's got a lot of new growth on it, it's doing fantastic. It's gonna have nice blooms. Didn't have them this year because it was freshly potted and sent to the nursery so they didn't flower. But this one's going to have purple or pink. It's got lovely new canes growing on it so everything is all good and growing well. Good to see. You don't have any response in your plants. You often wonder what is going on. This is a sarcochilus. which is native to um, Australia. And this one is a hybrid between Harmonii and another one. And I think it's the Harmonii or the other variety that it's crossed with. It grows on like limestone walls and canyons. So, it, you know, when it, when it gets rained on, it uh, dries pretty quickly. So it's came to me a bit wrinkly but it's starting to recover getting some nice new growth here so plenty of pups on it growing away yeah it's not as wrinkled as it was so it's coming back just takes time no, no use pulling it in and out of the pot and just leave it it'll recover and plus it's got some nice new growths in there, you can see a little, two little tiny ones. So it does clump, lovely clumping orchid, has beautiful flowers, unfortunately no fragrance whatsoever on Sarcochilus. But I think there might be a variety in Australia that does have fragrance, but I might be wrong. Alright. <coughs> This is another monoliforme in this very open basket here and it's heaped up so it drains away. This is another one that I got that has it's a nobly, it was cheap, like three bucks. It's got two nice two nice new growths, canes. All they have to do now is mature and get big and then they will have flowers. That's great, and it's growing in the terracotta. So I need the aeration. What else do we have? That plant in the back there, that is a Rinko stylus gigantea. Mm -hmm. Yep, one of those ones that takes forever to grow. But it does have the... Right there, it's got that new leaf coming out in the top. All it has to do is just get a great root system, which it's doing. And I got one indoors, just in case. I'm going to just compare the growth to see how they go. 
The one under us has a has some big fat old roots on it. And Rinko stylus is an a knocker that you'd want to pot up in too much of a media. In actual fact, you want to strap it on a mount, ideally. These are dendrobiums that I was that I got as a gift. So one's growing a new cane, that one's growing a new cane. That one's trying. This one's given up. So just keeping them moist and letting them grow. Yep, some orchids just are very, very um, particular about being moved around. Okay, what else do we have? This is Dendromium tortile that I was gifted a, a nice division. And then this one just says yellow on it. Yellow, so it's going to have yellow flowers. Got a nice new growth here, and that is Dendrobium Hancockii. It's yet to grow some new growths, but it did last year. I actually put up with the heat quite well, so I was surprised for such a thin caned orchid. It actually held on to its canes. And uh, just looking forward to some flowers, which are very hard to see the buds, but when it does bud and grow, it will. It does drop a lot of leaves, but once it becomes a good bushy plant, it looks better. <coughs> there are hybrids of it. Hybrids that are larger. This is just an epiphyllum here. Nice big epiphyllum that I grew just on that one piece here. Still got the label on it. It's grown three divisions. Nice big leaves. It takes about three years for a cutting to get big enough to actually produce flowers. This one won't be ready for at least two or three more years. But I'm not sure what it is yet. It's definitely epiphyllum. It could be a, a small. That could be as big as the leaves get. So I might be wrong, and it could have little flowers in all the internodes. For all I know. Okay, so this is disappointing. Why it doesn't. Grow some new growth on it, it should. I don't know. Uh. It's so hot. Last night I didn't get any cooler than 20, 24, no, 25 degrees. It's already like 20. 27 degrees and it's just about 9.30 it's going to get right up into the 30s again 32, 33 degrees smuggy smuggy, sticky, humid you got to drink a lot of water so you don't get dehydrated Move this one out of the way. Okay. We want to see that better. How's that for a, dend a um, dendrobium monoliforme? Be oh, careful. Plant right on the edge. I think that's where it was hanging. 
Those are hanging up higher. Maybe higher. This one's got kikis all over it, look. It's like it's good, but so I want the new growth to be down the bottom. <clears throat> can find images of that or let you see them. It's just a matter of look, getting these, it's just a matter of waiting for my falcatas to bud and flower. Will they do it? Oops, so uh, they should, because I've had them for a couple of years. But as with all orchids, they got to establish good root system in their pot, don't they? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, looking after your plants is not a chore. It's part of your self-care. It's my damage. There's always something to battle, isn't there? That's why I moisten the leaves in the morning <clears throat> with the sprayer. Never mind. Happens sometimes. Yep. Until next time, we'll see you. Bye bye.